Alright you guys, today we're going to be paying attention to this little rattlesnake who just looked up at the counter. Now he's going to make his way down the chip aisle towards the coolers and he is going to make a pit stop at the freezer for a second. He's thinking about hanging out with his buddies Ben and Jerry tonight or maybe he wants a Klondike bar or maybe he doesn't want any of those. So he's going to come over here towards the cooler and he's going to look at all of the delicious beverages we have to offer. Oh! Look at all of these delicious beverages. I just don't know what I want. Hmm. Oh, what do they got over here? Ooh, only six packs. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be hard to slip a six pack down my underpants. All right, what do we got here? Hmm, I'm watching my carbs. Yeah, I should probably go with the Bud Light Platinum Seltzer. 8%, yeah, that'll do the job. And yep, cashier's busy, still talking to that guy. And ooh, what do we got here? New absolute beverages. Hmm. Ooh, let's grab the berry margarita. What is that, 12%? Ooh, yeah, that'll definitely help get the job done. And let's see here. Anything else? Mm, no, doesn't look like it. Anything over here in the female beverage cooler? Hmm. Ooh, fireball. No, mm, nothing else over here. All right, mm, let's go down here in the chip aisle and shoop, let's just slip that down my pants. And yep, yeah, cashier will never know. He must be wearing those tidy whities Now he's going to make his way towards the counter to pay for his Bud Light Platinum Seltzer. Come on, Now, when you're trying to impress your lady friend, the last thing you want her to know is that the beverage she's about to be sipping on was down your underpants. So, he's going to pull that berry margarita out. He's going to put that in the bag with his Bud Light Platinum Seltzer, because obviously, you don't want to do that in front of her when you get back in the car, because then she'll know. <laughs> What'd you steal? Hmm? What'd you steal? An energy drink. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're waiting for the police. Sit in your car. Don't saying? come inside. No. Waiting for the police. So I make my way back into the store because I now have multiple customers that need waited on and he is going to open up his driver door and he's going to reach in there, set down those delicious beverages and I'm sure he's going to tell his lady friend some BS story on why I followed him out because she clearly saw me. Oh yeah, he thought I was having pump trouble so he followed me out to help me with the pumps but I didn't have any pump trouble, it was a misunderstanding. So he's going to hang up his pump and he's going to forget to put the gas cap on and close the door and clearly he's going to get back into his car and wait for the police why would you leave him he ain't gonna wait for the police put him under citizen's arrest well sorry guys i can't babysit him i'm the only employee working and i got other customers clearly so as you see here he is not going to wait for the police and he's going to flee the scene of the crime she go if you know this thief let him know that he needs to turn himself into the local authorities so we can properly have him charged with theft for stealing an absolute berry margarita. <laughs> 